The new Audi Q5 SUV. Proven concept in its third generation. Audi itself speaks of an appearance with more SUV character and muscle. Everything has moved up a level, headlights, shoulder, tail light. The latter is now as an unavoidable light strip. Audi Q5 and SQ5, 2025. Debuts with up to 367 PS. New super cockpit, petrol engine from the A5, plug-in hybrids and sport back to follow. Generation 3 is still easily recognizable as the Q5 from the outside, but otherwise almost everything is new. Let's take a closer look at what Ingolstadt has come up with to take the bread and butter from the BMW X3 and Mercedes GLC. As readers with an affinity for Audi will know, the lighting design is currently the Ingolstadt company's sacred cow. The new Matrix LED headlights consist of 15 switchable elements that allow 8 different light signatures. Things get even wilder at the rear with the digital OLED Rear Lights 2.0. We have already been able to marvel at the new Miracle taillight on the A5, S5 and A6 e-tron. Now the active light signature is also making its way into the Q5. This means that the light graphics can move, even while driving. To achieve this, six OLED panels with a total of 266 segments generate a new image several times per second using a specially developed algorithm. Audi is also introducing a projection light in the rear spoiler for the first time in Europe, which projects a graphic into the rear window and thus enlarges the brake light area. Incidentally, this is only visible to those driving behind. The driver is unaware of this when looking in the rear view mirror. However, all these lighting features are subject to a surcharge. The 4717 mm length, 1900 mm width, 1651 mm height and a wheelbase of 2820 mm are absolutely no extra charge. This means that the new Q5 is a good 3.5 cm longer than its predecessor. The remaining values remain almost the same. There is a choice of three exterior finishes, basic, advanced and S-line. The available wheels measure between 17 and 21 inches. 19-inch wheels are standard on the S-line and S models. Some aero-optimized rims in 17 to 19 inches are also available on request. We are already familiar with the principles of the redesign with the OLED curved display, 11.9-inch instruments, 14.5-inch infotainment, and the optional 10.9-inch passenger display from the A5. For the new Q5, the cockpit design has been slightly SUV-ified, but generally remains true to its new line. The infotainment uses Android Automotive OS as its operating system. Content is updated via over-the-air updates. The Audi Connect services are therefore always up to date. Apps such as YouTube are integrated directly into the MMI, so you don't need a smartphone to use them. For an extra charge, a Bang & Olufsen premium sound system with 685-watt amplifier and 16 loudspeakers is installed, which cancels out disturbing interior noise with Vehicle Noise Compensation VNC. Audi representatives are keen to point out the new interaction light, a light strip between the dashboard and windscreen, almost in a continuous loop. This can be used to display all kinds of lighting frills, but it can also display useful things such as the charge status, the indicator light when turning or a warning of traffic, objects when opening the door. The head-up display has an 85% larger screen size than its predecessor and can now also be operated from the steering wheel. The new Audi Assistant, with its own avatar for the first time, uses Chad GPT to answer the occupant's questions and requests. That's a good thing. The new interior design is also very pleasing. At first glance, the quality of the Q5 interior makes the same excellent impression as in the A5. The strong connection to the new A5 cannot be overlooked when it comes to engines either. Audi's new Canauser combustion engines with so-called MHEV Plus technology almost pass as full hybrids. 
In the new 2.0 TFSI with 204 PS, the familiar 2.0 TDI with 204 PS and the new 3.0 V6 TFSI with 367 PS in the SQ5, the system consists of a 48-volt lithium-iron phosphate battery with 1.7 kWh, a belt starter generator and a new drivetrain generator, i.e. an electric motor, which sits directly on the transmission output shaft. The latter boosts with up to 24 PS and recuperates with up to 34 PS. All engines are coupled to a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. Only the four-cylinder petrol engine is also available as a front-wheel drive model. Two plug-in hybrids based on the 2.0-liter petrol engine will follow in 2025. They produce 299 and 367 PS and will have an electric range of more than 50 miles. The old Q5 had a range of 37 miles. Audi claims to have given the new Q5, largely neutral handling, with its five-link front and rear suspension. In addition, the optimized suspension and steering setup should lead to a noticeable increase in comfort. The car rolls off the production line with steel suspension and progressive steering as standard. Alternatively, Thank <laughs> you.